using the definition of logarithm to solve logarithmic equations. Okay, um, express the equation in the form of log base b of a equals c. In other words, isolate the logarithmic term. Then use the definition of logarithms to rewrite the equation in exponential form. The definition of logarithms is that log base b of a equals some number c means that the base b raised to the c power is equal to that number a that you were logging or algebraic expression a that you were logging. Now once you have rewritten this you should be able to solve for the variable but logarithms have domain issues, so you must check the proposed solution in the original equation. Um, you need to include the solution set only the values which with the a is greater than zero. So what you were logging has to be non-negative and non-zero. So for example, Let's look at something very basic at first. Let's look at log base 5 of x equal 3. Now log term is already isolated here, so we go straight to the definition. The base 5 raised to the right hand side, 3 equals what you were logging, x. So x is 125. Now in our case here, our domain was strictly x greater than 0. And 125 is definitely greater than 0, so that is just fine. Now, let's look at one where we have to do a little bit more work. Say we had 2 log base 7 of x minus 1 equals 7. Okay. Well, this time we need to isolate that log term, so we're going to add 1 to both sides. So 2 log base 7 of x equals 8, and then we divide through by 2. So log base 7 of x equals 4, and now our log term is isolated. So we take the base, raise it to the right-hand side, so 7 to the 4th equals x. Now, 7 to the 4th power, if you put that in your calculator, you get 2,401. Now, once again, our domain for this particular log equation was x greater than 0, and I would say 2,401, excuse me, is greater than 0. Okay, let's look at another example. Say that we had common log of x minus 2 plus 3 equals 0. Now here we're going to have a domain issue. Not just x greater than 0, your domain in this case is x minus 2 greater than 0, so it's going to be x greater than 2. So we need to come back and check with that when we're done. Now the first step over here on the equation will be to subtract 3. So common log of x minus 2 equal negative 3. And the base of the common log is 10. So we're going to take 10 raised to the negative 3 power equals x minus 2. Um, don't change this to a decimal yet. Let's add 2 to both sides. So we get um, 10 to the negative 3 plus 2. And so x is equal to, if you put that into your calculator, 2.001, which is bigger than 2. So we check out with our domain. All right. Now, let's look at another problem. Say that we have 6 times the natural log of x plus 5 minus 2 equal 1. Now, my domain here is going to be where x plus 5 is greater than 0 will be where x is greater than negative 5. Okay? Now, with our equation, our first step is going to be add 2 to both sides. So 6 natural log of x plus 5 equals 3, divide through by 6, so you get natural log of x plus 5 equals 1 half. 
Now the base of the natural log function is e. So e to the one half equals, hmm, here we go, x plus five. So x is e to the one half minus five. And when you put that into your calculator, you get negative 3.3513. Now guys, that is actually bigger than negative five. So we're okay. Now let's look at one more problem. Say we have um, common log of three X minus the common log of X minus two equal one. Okay. Um, now, as far as domain goes, we actually have two domains here. This one's going to be x greater than zero, but this one's going to be x greater than two. x greater than two is a smaller set than x greater than zero, so that's the one what we're going to be looking at at the end. Now, I have two log terms here, so what I need to do is use the quotient rule for logarithms to make bring this together and make one log term. So we're going to have common log of 3x over x minus 2 equal 1. Now once you have that one log term isolated, then the base of the common log is 10. So we have 10 to the first power equals 3x times x minus 2. And when we're solving things that have variables and denominators, we take the LCD and multiply to both sides. So 10 at times x minus 2 equals 3x, because the x minus 2's will cancel over here. So 10x minus 20 equals 3x. So I'm going to subtract 3x and add 20 at the same time. So I get 7x equal 20. So x is 20 sevenths. Now, 20 sevenths is approximately 2.8571, which is bigger than 2. So this is just fine. The end.